and we're back to that you know conundrum again of of uh, you know the health harm uh, the health impact of cessation versus the health impact of initiation Dr. Carpenter, in some of the coverage uh, coming out of your institution that you work at, which, by the way, great PR people that work at <laughs> in, in that organization. I'll tell them. Yeah, really good. I'll tell them. It says in there that you uh, had certain hypotheses going into the research and that you were actually surprised that you hit them all. I, I remember making that comment, and I, I remember my my uh, team here at my university sort of uh, grabbing onto it. and. I stand by it um, because so often when we do these grants, now mind you, I, I we wrote this grant five, six, maybe seven years ago, and that's the time it takes to get it funded, carry through, and completed and analyzed. It takes years to do this. So yes, I hypothesized that e-cigarettes would help uh, smokers quit. But you know, I thought maybe we find it for this outcome or this outcome, but not these. A lot of times you find mixed results. And so that's what science is all about, mixed results. You have six outcomes, three of them show A and three of them show B. Um, here it was a little much more consistent than I had ever in, expected. Basically almost everything we looked at showed a higher rate of, of, of cessation behaviors, quit attempts, reduction, um, uh, quitting, um, all the above at all time points. So it was the robustness of it that, that surprised me. So yes, I was surprised because um, it's not very common in our, in our field. Was it a surprise that some of the participants in your study became surprise quitters? No, I, I, you know, I, we knew abstinence would happen. That I, 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 this question is of how much, uh, and that was really, um, you know, one of the main things that we were measuring is so we knew cessation would occur, abstinence would occur. Question is, you know, how much are we going to get, especially with this hands-off approach, where we said, try it, see what you like, and see what you don't like about this. It's ultimately up to you. So we were very uh, cautionary in what we said to pe people, both verbally and in our written instructions. And I think even with that sort of hands-off approach to get this these levels of um, uh, cessation were remarkable.